Thank you very much, Ms. Lee. I'd like to now recognize Mr. Bruce Underwood, the technical manager of Wallop Space Flight Facility for NASA. Wallop Space Flight Facility was established in 1945 and is NASA's principal facility for management and implementation of suborbital research programs. Mr. Underwood, thank you for being with us. Thank you, and good afternoon. My name is Bruce Underwood, and I am Chief of the Advanced Projects Office at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. I'm pleased to be here today to share with you the successes of small businesses at Wallops. NASA's Wallops Flight Facility, part of the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, is located in a remote area of Virginia's eastern shore and is NASA's principal facility for management and implementation of suborbital research programs. Employing approximately 1,000 civil servants and contractor employees, Wallops is a major economic influence in the Maryland and Virginia regions, providing high-tech jobs in the areas of science and aeronautics. Wallops is one of the region's largest employers and is the largest technical employer within 100 miles. Because of the nature of the mission and the remoteness of our campus, Wallops relies heavily on the small businesses for, small, uh, for support services. Wallops has found that there are intrinsic benefits that come with working with small businesses, including better customer focus, less bureaucracy, and often lower overhead costs. Wallops takes pride in being small but innovative and has found that the small businesses we work with share this important characteristic. Wallops currently has six active construction contracts, all of which have small businesses as the prime contractors. One of these contractors, Construction, Con Construction Development Services Incorporated, is based close by in Norfolk, Virginia. CDSI performed the renovation of the X-85 launch building at Wallops Island, a contract that was awarded on February 20th, 2008 in the amount of $1.1 million through the Small Business Administration's 8A program. Prior to the completion of the original period of performance, funding became available to award two options for the original contract. These two areas of work were for a fire sprinkler system for the building and for new fabric door systems. As a small business, CDSI was able to offer Wallops an exceptional price for sprinkler and door systems that resulted in a minimal cost increase to the contract. A new period of performance was established and the work completed satisfactorily and ahead of schedule. CDSI was an exceptional contractor to work with on the renovation of X-85, the range's main meteorological station. Our launch range worked seamlessly during the construction period, which was a major concern. The supervision and coordination of this project was outstanding as the contractor kept the project on schedule while balance, balancing various subcontractors as well as several contract modifications during the life of the contract. In August and September, two new contracts were awarded to this 8A firm for work in Wallops. One is for a new fire detection system in all of Wallops' buildings, and the other is for a grouping of small projects in other various facilities. In FY 2008, Wallops awarded 59 new contracts to small businesses, adding to the already existing 46 open contracts with small businesses. Fiscal year 2008, two th total obligations for new contracts and small businesses were $5.5 million, with another $41.5 million in modifications to existing contracts obligated. These numbers reflect the value of small businesses to Wallops and their important role in NASA's work. Contract awards for Wallops are managed by the Goddard Space Flight Center, which works to ensure that small businesses continue to be a vital part of Wallops' operation. As part of this process, Goddard's Small Business Office reviews all procurement requests that are expected to exceed $100,000. Should there be qualified small businesses, the action is set aside for the small business community. In addition, all other actions that are not set aside and are above $550,000 are reviewed and subcontracting goals are provided to be incorporated in the request for proposal and later into the contract of the successful offeror. Through these procedures, Goddard fosters opportunities for small businesses to provide the services in support of Wallops' mission. While Wallops depends on small businesses for the success of its operations, the surrounding community relies on the success of Wallops to sustain and grow the local economy. The partnership between Wallops and small businesses is integral to a thriving economy on Virginia's Lower Eastern Shore, and we at NASA are committed to building upon the current successes of that partnership to the benefit of all of those involved with and touched by it. Again, thank you for the opportunity to appear before the subcommittee today and look forward to your questions. <laughs> 